So today I learned that even if you disagree on certain opinions or issues politically, socially, or drama-ish things, you can still be friends with someone. Now, I didn't learn this personally through something that happened today, um, but I did watch a video uh, about JonTron. So if you're not aware, JonTron is this big YouTuber who video game community on YouTube for a while. And about a year ago, he had a, a debate with another YouTuber named Destiny. And JonTron was expressing a lot of controversial opinions and it's very obvious that he wasn't prepared for the debate and it really reflected poor on him. About nine months after that, he was on the H3H3 podcast and Ethan asked JonTron about the debate. While they were talking about the previous debate JonTron has been on, Ethan had said that he disagreed with a lot of the points that JonTron had brought up in stated in the debate, but they were both discussing about how they're still friends and that JonTron is still a great friend to Ethan despite Ethan disagreeing with a lot of the mostly political issues that were being debated on the debate with JonTron and Destiny. So that's really interesting. I, I've kind of been growing on that point of view for a while that you can still be friends with someone despite disagreeing with them. But watching that podcast and, and seeing two people that did disagree on things but were really good friends and see that play out in real time made me realize what that looks like and how that might feel. I don't have a whole lot of friends that I very much disagree with on a lot of issues. Uh, for the most part, a lot of my friends were in the same moral compass. Um, we all have similar values and some of us have differing opinions, but I wouldn't say they're starkly contrasted from each other. So I haven't had a personal experience of a dear friend of mine stating a opinion that is radically different than what I hold to myself. So basically, Watching that podcast has prepared me for a situation in the future that I might encounter. Something that I also learned today was the importance of integrity. Um, also around Ethan from H3H3 and someone had made a video about how he holds on to his integrity no matter who he's in front of. So no matter if he's talking about someone when they're not around or they're talking to that person directly his point of view will not change no matter who he's in front of. And they were discussing integrity. So those kind of go to hand in hand with integrity and the whole being friends with someone who you disagree with. Because if you have integrity, that means that you won't change your belief system to match the people that are around you. You'll keep your belief system consistent and if that happens, then you might run into a situation where one of your friends disagrees with you. But it's important also to separate political ideologies and the quality of person that they are. So that's what I learned today. Sorry, I was at the baseball stadium all night. I was in the sun. I was burning, still sunburning. You can see how red I am. But I'll have some of the footage from the games on the video sporadically. So if you see some random clips that are out of context, that's what they're from. Um, I shoot most of this with my Pixel 2, which does an awesome job. But on the days that I'm at the stadium, I'll occasionally use footage from the very nice camera that I use. So one thing that made me sad today is I'm cutting right now. So my that means my diet is around 1,500 calories per day. That's my goal. Normally, before the diet, I would eat like 2,200, and I was getting a little chub. Um, so I'm cutting right now. I'm trying to keep to my diet, but I was disappointed in myself that I f fell into a craving and I got Panda Express before I left um, my house to go downstate for the uh, baseball game. But uh, also, on the other hand, I kept under 1,500, so I'm not super sad about that. 
And one thing that made me happy today was that I had seen an old coworker from the first year I was at this baseball stadium. It's the third year that it's existed. Uh, and I was there the first year and I'm here the third year and I saw someone that I worked with the first year um, After the game and it was really cool because I hadn't really talked to them Since the first year and it was just really nice to see them and ask them how they're doing um, So that was really cool, but as always I want to know what you learned today, so leave a comment down below let us all know what you learned so we can have a conversation and we can all grow together. So with that, I'll see you tomorrow.